Hello. A few weeks ago, I shared a passage from the Old Testament prophet Isaiah. In this piece of writing, he talks about the idea of God as the potter and us as the clay, being shaped, moulded and formed into beautiful jars. But what about when we have a beautiful jar or a pot that's broken? What we're seemingly left with is something that is in no way as good as the original. I've been thinking about this idea over the Easter period as we start to emerge from the pandemic and lockdown stage by stage. On Easter Sunday, I was delighted to be worshipping in York Minster, but instead of joining together with over 800 people, I was in the congregation of barely 80, very socially distanced. On Easter Sunday, I was in my home church and we came to a time in the service of sharing the peace of God, where we'd normally shake hands or hug. We merely waved and nodded. Someone I was chatting to on another day expressed the sentiment that he thought things would never return to normal. Perhaps many of us are feeling unease in a variety of different ways about life. Perhaps there are many aspects of the world around us that feel damaged and irreparable. Let's go back to our broken pot that we spoke of before. Kintsugi is an ancient Japanese art form from the 15th century. It's the practice of taking broken pottery and reassembling the ceramic pieces to create anew the item. Kintsugi does not just fix the broken vessel though, rather the technique makes the broken piece of pottery even more beautiful than the original. In Japanese, the word kin means gold and the word sugi means to connect. The word kintsugi literally means golden joinery. What is used in the process is a resin lacquer that is then covered with gold. What is created is a new piece of pottery that is even more beautiful and more valuable than the original broken item. At Easter, Christians both celebrate and reflect upon the resurrection of Jesus. The resurrected Jesus still bears the wounds of his sacrifice and death. His disciples see them clearly like the broken pieces that constitute a kintsugi pot. However, this once broken body is able to talk and eat and spend time with the disciples. He's able to appear in a locked room, share deep truths and eventually ascend into heaven. In the resurrected Jesus, there is both immense beauty and brokenness combined. Now, I've already said that Kintsugi needs some form of adhesive to reconnect the pieces. But what is unique in the process is that it's overlaid with gold. The writer, St John of the Cross, said, Where there is no love, put love, and you will find love. If we treat the emotional wounds of our society formed during the pandemic and also our own wounds by gilding them with forgiveness and love, then the healing of that wound will bring great value and strength to our lives. Furthermore, when the craftsman is gluing pieces together in Kintsugi, they need to spend time actually holding them together until the glue dries. This requires patience and calm. The beauty of the finished kintsugi pot doesn't happen instantaneously. Similarly, we need to reflect and be patient in our lives. We need to persevere. Another feature of the kintsugi art form is that you can use pieces that were part of other broken objects to fill gaps in the original pot. The mixture of the two enriches and completes the final product. The same is true of our emotional wounds. We need to turn to others for help, be that friends, family, colleagues or God. In the fight for emotional health, it's important to remember that we're not alone. Sometimes depression and sadness make us think that no one will help us, that we don't want to be a burden. We don't want to bother anyone about something that is only our own concern. But that should not be the case. The help of others can make us whole. Finally, much has been said in recent months about building back better by politicians of all persuasions and by religious leaders. 
Perhaps the art form of Kintsugi and the resurrected Jesus show us that this noble aspiration is not mere platitude. I believe that there is a genuine hope that great beauty is possible in that which appears irredeemably broken. Bless you all.